What is up guys, this is FNH here with a brand new Pinnacle Studio tutorial on color grading, how to use it, where to find it, and what you need to do to basically make yourself a color grading expert, yes. So let's get right into it. So I'm using a the, one of those videos that basically Pinnacle Studio provides you, the sky is the limit. And we're gonna basically use this clip and or this specific scene just to show you how the different color grading schemes work, what essentially happens and what you need to do. So the easiest way to just get right into this is you click the editor tab on the top left screen and it's literally right there. So you'll see four versions of what you can can't do for your color grading. Uh, I would advise if you're new to stay with the basic, but again, there's basic, tone curve, HSL tuning, and color wheel. And again, you can go to any of these fours to get your job done, you know, use all a little bit of all of them and go from there. Now, just to show you a little bit of an example, there are other types of like features on how you can use and get a bit, I guess, a sense of how the color grading is going. There's a histogram, there's the RGB parade, yada, yada, yada. But again, that's a little bit more advanced. I personally myself don't use it because I don't fully comprehend that feature. I guess that's for someone who's significantly much more deeper into how this works, what it is. It's for them. But if you're like myself, a regular YouTuber, you know, you just want to do some simple color editing for a specific scene, you know, you, you can either split the specific scene to change it up or you can do, a, you know, just that specific portion as well. I would advise splitting the scene and then just doing it to that so the whole video obviously doesn't get changed. And again, it can vary, so you got to go based off of that. So let's get right into it. Now, there are other certain features such as like auto white balance. You can see the video scene does change if you do that they have auto tone you can obviously change the tone from that automatically as well you can see it gets a little bit brighter a little bit more sharper so obviously you could go for that but again if it depends if you have the whole uh, video clip but you only want to do a specific sp scene split the video and do it from that that's probably the best and easiest way i would advise you to go down that route but obviously if you wanted to manually change it you can significantly increase the exposure you can decrease the exposure again you can depending on the time of day to find out how it is you can increase the contrast as you can see it gets better you can get rid of the blacks you can make the blacks higher whatever however you prefer get rid of the shadows um mid-range again this it gets like very in depth on how you'd like to go. You can get rid of the haze. You can make the pictures more clarity. See, so as you can see, it gets sharper. It gets more richer. You can try to show that the vibrance of it. Again, all these different things come into play. I'm just gonna reset all of these to show you. But yeah, you can take all those routes. And we'll go to tone curve next. This is a little weird one where you can just basically drag and drop, and it just you get it's a little weird on how you'd like to go with it so i wouldn't advise using this one especially if you're new but you can just slide it to wherever you're trying to prefer it and you can change it to like the red the green the blue and all those different color changes as well so i'm just gonna undo it so you don't have to basically go with that one keep it as is for now Oop, i apologize uh, hsl tuning is another option where you have the hue the saturation and the lightness you get a bit I guess deeper into their basically the hue saturation lightness this is, is the HSL and you can basically dive into this much more and then the saturation you can change the color for it uh, to orange whatnot again this is more if you're a little bit more advanced where I'd pr probably prefer and advise you to stay within the uh, basic version and then the color wheel as well where is the color shifts the highlights the midtones and the shadows you can essentially change it around from here as well to your needs and liking here as well so you, again you just you can either drag and drop or just yeah you can drag and drop or just choose it and put it where you'd like to prefer again basic is probably the easiest way you could go i'd probably advise you to go with basics so you can see oh look it changed up this actually looks much better once you do the auto tone and again this is your preference on how you'd like to do and how you would want it to go so yeah these things do matter uh, yeah, just to show you as an example, again, if you get rid of the auto white balance, you can see the color changes significantly. The auto tone, you can have both on if you like. Again, it's on the scene, the quality, how you'd like to do, what you're trying to fix, what you're trying to enhance, what you're trying to show. All those different things matter. And again, this is up to you on how you'd like to proceed and move forward from there. So yes, 
um, yeah, this was the basically tutorial and guide on how to use color grading and what you can and can't do. It's again completely up to you on how you'd like to move forward with it, and you can essentially even pick and drop and choose and essentially get. You can even select the color you're trying to get, which is an interesting one. Uh, uh, this is a little tricky on where you're trying to go with, but yeah, you can essentially go down that route as well. But yeah, let me know your thoughts below, guys. What do you guys think about this video, and if you found this video and uh, tutorial helpful or not. But overall, if you did, uh, if you can like this video, it helps. If you need to channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell on that FNHL. Peace.